Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to introduce you to Lemma. This is a first-person parkour game being developed by Evan Todd. It is currently asking for your crowdfunding support on Kickstarter. As of this recording, 24 days remain on the $10,000 Kickstarter. As of now, they have about $2,700 towards that goal. The overall state of the Kickstarter is pretty good. Not a lot of updates in the six or so days that the campaign's been running, but a lot of good information on the page. And even though they do have stretch goals, which you might know is a pet peeve of mine, they are very realistic stretch goals that go towards things like alternate OS versions of the game, which I think is a completely reasonable thing to tell people as a stretch goal. Hey, I can make the Windows version for this amount that I'm asking for. If you guys really want a Linux or a Mac version, I'm going to need more money. I can kind of live with that. The images you're currently seeing on your screen come from my hour or so of playtime on this game. I am playing the current public release that is build 320. It's available right at the top of the Kickstarter page. Now, I would encourage you to grab this and try it out for yourself, but I can, of course, share some of my opinions after about 60 minutes of gameplay. So before we get too far into the systems of the game, the controls, the graphics, and all that, I'll just give you a little bit of information on the game itself. So you play as a physics grad student and apparently a proficient parkourer named Joan. One of your colleagues has found a way into another world beyond our own. It could be a dream world or some other plane of physics or math or science or something. And you're jealous and you want in that world as well. Well, one evening you stumble into that world and you go on an amazing adventure within this world which your colleague has dubbed Lemma. So as you embark on your journey of discovery here in Lemma, one of the first things you realize is that some of the world around you, some of the tiles on the floor, react simply to your presence. And this becomes a big part of the gameplay. As you continue to jump and roll around the world, other abilities are revealed to you, specifically abilities that allow you to extend surfaces that you're already interacting with. So if you're running along a wall and that wall runs out, you can continue that wall by placing new blocks automatically. You can also slide off of a ledge to allow you to extend it just a little further and make that tricky jump or get to that far off platform. Unfortunately, the world of Lemma is not all sweet jumping and cool magical wall runs. It's also dangerous. You slowly see red creeping into the normally gray and blue hues of the world, and your colleague Mark is constantly texting you, telling you, hey, this place is dangerous. Don't go any further. Wait for me. I'll come get you. You're going to get hurt. But your natural curiosity pushes you forward, and you continue to delve deeper into the world. And that pretty much sets the scene for the rest of the game, which plays out as a pretty cool first-person platformer with a heavy emphasis on puzzles and parkour. According to Evan, Lemma's main goal is to allow creativity through movement. So whereas a game like Minecraft would encourage you to stand in one place and click to build things, Lemma wants you to simply move through the world, parkour style, and create those structures as you go. The game's main mechanic really helps to fuel this. When that wall runs out, guess what? You're just going to continue to extend it. Don't have a platform there? Well, make one as you jump into open space. It's a really, really cool way to handle things, and I think it really creates a unique gaming experience. Now, all that creativity and motion sounds great, but if the controls aren't there, then the rest of it's not going to fall into place. I have to say that for the most part, the controls worked pretty well. I played with a mouse and keyboard, though a 360 pad is also supported. In most instances, I was able to accomplish whatever I felt like I needed to in order to get to a goal, though I will say that there are times when the system sort of strains under its own complexity. As you try to extend a wall run on a 90 degree surface, you jump from one wall, then quickly have to turn your view and hit the other wall to extend the run, and sometimes it doesn't really work out exactly like you would want to. But apart from those few isolated incidents, the controls were adequate. Now the visuals, on the other hand, they do leave a little bit to be desired. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about the voxel-based world. I know a lot of people see that sort of Minecraft-esque aesthetic and immediately have the knee-jerk reaction of just hating it just out of principle. And I don't blame them because there have been a lot of really bad Minecraft clones. But that's not what's happening here. 
the decision to have Lemma be voxel based is almost more than a simple aesthetic decision. It fits in with the entire design of the game. The idea that this world born of physics and science is actually geometric in nature. It's, it's almost brilliant actually to think of it that way and maybe i'm reading a little bit too much into it maybe voxels are just a really efficient way to do what they're trying to accomplish here in this game but it actually seems like a really well thought out decision the place that the visual presentation of Lemma starts to come unhinged for me is when viewing anything that isn't voxel based your character is an accurately modeled human female who lives in an accurately modeled apartment who answers an accurately modeled cell phone. But that's only if you use accurately in the absolute crudest sense of the word. These models are bad, they're low poly, and they're just not up to where you would want them to be. And along with bad models come bad animations. You don't see a lot of your character, but what you do see is just very clunky. The hands coming up trying to grab things, the cell phone being flipped out, it just doesn't look good. Luckily, Evan sees these shortcomings as well. He realizes that an open source 3D human model and a bunch of free sounds he got off the internet just aren't going to cut it. So he's actually using most of his Kickstarter, after rewards and fees, to go towards music and art. I think this is a brilliant thing from a guy who has enough personal confidence to understand what he's good at and what he should bring someone in to do for him. The ability to make a decision like that is a commendable thing, and it tells me that Evan wants this game to come out in the best form possible. Not just shove it out the door and get it out there, but actually do the things necessary to make the project that comes out match the project as it exists in his head. And for me, that's one of the things that I really dig down for on a Kickstarter project. It's not about how great it looks or if the pitch video is hilarious. It's about the person who is at the heart of it. How do they feel about this project? Are they passionate? Will they get it done regardless of what else happens? And I have to say, when it comes to Evan Todd, I believe that we will see Lemma released and we will see it released in a really great form if this Kickstarter succeeds. So head on over to the Kickstarter, take a look for yourself, play the current build, and maybe you will be inspired to send a little money towards Lemma. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.